Oh my, hello again from Lucknow. I'm on my way to get dinner. I usually eat one meal in a day, honestly, with a snack or two in between. But I'm really hungry after running around all day and getting lost in that maze. And uh, I'm on my way to a, another joint. Uh, I'm going for some more biryani because it seems promising in this city and I really like it. Out of all the Indian food I've had, it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, this place is highly rated. I, it's got a couple thousand positive reviews. Hold on, let me make sure I'm going the right direction. And I'll let you know what I think. So uh, join me on this stroll here. See what I can show you. Okay, it's this way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Guys, blasting spray paint here with no mask. He's trying to trying to kill himself at an early age. I've noticed that a lot of laborers here don't use any respiratory defense. They don't have proper masks. Welders. Don't wear masks. People who do like grinding don't wear masks. Woodworkers don't wear masks. And painters don't wear masks. I mean, you would think you're already breathing in enough pollution living in an Indian city. But it just doesn't, it, it doesn't cross their mind at all that, hey, maybe this paint I'm spraying all day every day is killing me. Respirators are not expensive, guys. You get a mask with the carbon filters on it. I mean, you're probably spending an initial investment of $25 and then like $10 for two months worth of replacement filters. And the carbon filters that are replaceable, they last a pretty long time, I think. Uh, it's it's fucked, guys. I mean, what can I say? Uh, it's really odd to see. Oh, what is this? It's an abandoned building, maybe. It's like they have a doorman. Are they constructing this? I don't know. Are they tearing it down? Hello. I'm gonna let this guy go. I'll go around. Hello. I got my light on, so I'm not hit by a car. Okay, I'm turning here. No, I'm turning on the next one. Yes, going to the next one. Hello. Hello. Okay. I believe it's on the main road here.
The bananas are really good here in India, by the way. I want to say I, I like bananas, so. If you're here, definitely eat a lot of bananas. They're always safe and they're good for you and they're really cheap. You can get like two bananas for like 10 or 20 rupees. So 25 cents is like two bananas. Okay, the restaurant I want to go to should be just over here. Let's hope that Google isn't uh, pranking me again, which happens more often than you think here. Lots of addresses are incorrect here in India. Uh, they're incorrect often back home in America as well, but... Hello. I've been pranked. Dang it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I did turn wrong. Let's see. You check my map. Okay. Well. Should be right here. But it's not. What the hell? Maybe it's on the other side? Maybe it's in this building? It's not that. It's a bank. Let's see this. Let's ask this guy. Oh, yeah. Your restaurant is here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a up. Uh, how far you think? Yes. Two minutes? One minute? Five, five no, minutes. No, no, no. Less, less than five 50 minutes. Kilometer. 50 kilometers. Not kilometer, uh, meters. Yes. Okay, 50 meters. Sorry, yeah, 50 meters. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, 50 kilometers is <laughs> like 20 miles. <laughs> 50 meters is like 50 yards or 150 feet. Okay, so the address is almost correct, which is okay. You just ask for some directions and people will know, especially the guys who operate in the neighborhood. Also, sorry, a frog in my throat. Uh, tuk tuk drivers, taxi guys, rickshaw guys. Uh, know their city really well so if you need directions you can always ask them too those are like the best guys to ask for directions and come here Be quick Aha, I see it the golden lights Awesome. Hello. Alrighty. Okay, it's got a couple of lights out. That's a good sign. <laughs> it's not too fancy. Oh wow, it's very small. I like it. Good door? Oh, look, it's a fake door. It's imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> you have an invisible door. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's a sliding door. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Hi there, guys. How are you? Uh, okay, if I make video, show my friends back home to your restaurant. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm ready, huh? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Mutton. Okay, hold on, let me see. This one's mutton. Okay, I had mutton biryani earlier. Hyderabadi chicken, you know? Ah, uh, beautiful. 
And this one. Veg, just plain chicken. Standard chicken. Okay. Shahi, Hyderabadi biryani. Yes, I will take Hyderabadi uh, chicken. Let's go single. Single. And uh, oh. half, yes, please. And uh, egg pani bottle. Okay, then you have Oh, looking pretty good. Both good rum, okay? Heat, okay? I need hot, okay? outside than it was earlier, but now I'm inside, I'm hot as hell. Need some AC. <laughs> Thank you. I can usually last outside in an Indian city for maybe two, three hours. Today, I spent about four or five hours roaming around. So I needed to go decompress in my room and soak up the AC for like two hours. And I'm starving again after my mission. So I'll be back when the food comes. Because uh, why would you want to listen to me ramble? Beautiful. flavor but it's not hot like temperature wise yes. it's like yes. maybe half as hot as it should be so I don't think I can actually eat this chicken because it's not at holding temp no the chicken's cold I can't actually taste the chicken because I don't want to get sick go on ask them but the flavor is good. The flavor is better than the biryani I had earlier. And um, the texture of the rice is better. The rice at that previous place was a little bit dry. This rice is perfectly cooked. rare that I have not only one but two good meals in one day here in this portion of India since I got to Ahmedabad or not Ahmedabad, sorry uh, since I got to Amritsar after leaving the Himalayas it's been uh, pretty dang rough uh, but now that I'm here in Lucknow for actually today only, I'm finding the food here really good. So, if you spend a little time looking, you can uh, find uh, some incredible kebabs and some incredible biryani. I would try to encourage them to 
really make this hot if you're foreign, if you come here, so you can avoid any complications that come with uh, meat that hasn't been held at the, the proper temperature. But other than that, I'm uh, excited that I found some really good food because, like I said, it's been rough and uh, finding good food really brings up my spirits. Tomorrow I'm off to Varanasi, which, depending on who you are, so far I've heard that Varanasi is famous for its uh, not good food, <laughs> to say it kindly. I hope that what I've heard is incorrect, because I plan on spending at least four or five days there before I move on to Kolkata. And I would like to uh, eat good meals when I'm there. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. The next time I see you will either be a video of the hotel I'm staying at or in Varanasi or on my way to Varanasi. Who knows? Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>